girl with mm -hmm. Ben. Yeah. Ben doesn't want to be in the film. Because this... I can't even see. Oh no, he's moved my I mirror. can't see myself. Oh Ben, you don't have to move all that. <laughs> so we're at Tesco. We're buying ingredients because Ben wants to make angry grandpa's trailer park pizza. Yes. Trailer Park Pizza. If it, does anybody else know of Angry Grandpa? He sadly passed away now, but his son still does his channel for yeah. him. I don't know much about the channel. Ben just keeps showing me clips of Angry Grandpa. Apparently he was an angry grandpa and he, he used to throw things around the lounge and the room and do funny stuff and he went on his first flight and that was funny. He's done quite a few funny. He looked, he looked a lovely gentleman, quite honest and genuine and um, sincere. Oh. He did like recipes as well, didn't a he? A lot. Ben? He really cared about his cooking and he made like this. He was like a cook, but not like a cook, but he yeah. did stuff with Not a well known food. chef, but he liked cooking. And obviously, they were, I think they were not very well off, so they used like a lot of convenience foods and they just kind of did what they could to make adventurous yeah. food. And a lot of it looks quite interesting. Because they would actually. eat cereal for like dinner and stuff. They were not really wealthy at all, yeah. but they managed to make food and this is something that we're going to so make yeah, which is under ten pound apparently this is like an under ten pound pizza we're going to have to be british savvy with our shopping because what americans can buy and what we can buy are completely two different things when it comes to this recipe because they don't use proper dough or what we, we would use as dough for this recipe it's canned it biscuits yeah, it was, it's biscuits but when in i America, looked at it they use yeah. like dough biscuit things yeah it's like a buttermilk um yeah recipe buttermilk kind of what we would probably call as a scone but not a heavy scone like a really light scone so we're going to go into tesco and see what we can find see what our substitute could be for this buttermilk mm -hmm. base make we'll show it. you it when we make it i've got a list of other stuff here to get from tesco as well so good luck ben tag along with me right we're in tesco we haven't found the base yet but look at this cheese pretty easy to find mozzarella which is here i'm gonna get a couple because it's actually two for four. Is that the only cheese we need? What's the other one? Yeah. They don't have dough balls, but they have some sliced. I know, but if we we're going to do two different ones, they have sliced garlic tree batter. You could make them into. They'd be quite good. Oh, as no. pizza. No, no. Let's do what we were originally thinking. Did think about doing the scone mixture and dough balls and seeing which one worked out the best. But there's no dough balls here. Right, we need pepperoni. Do you want pepperoni? Right, we're in the scone section. If I can pull this trolley. I'm just trying to look. There's lots of different things here. We're going to have a look, see what could resemble what we need. Did Google nope. um, finest all butter scones? It was buttermilk scones, it said. And we're back home with all the ingredients. We're going to make our trailer park pizza. Angry Grandpa. By the way, I forgot to mention, when I said earlier, has anybody watched, has anyone seen Angry Grandpa? Not just around the street. I meant on YouTube. What else would I mean? <laughs> ben has got the recipe. Mm -hmm. So we have our scones or scones. It's the nearest buttermilk biscuit supplement I could find. So no idea what this is gonna turn out like. Scone pizza. I can kind of picture what these buttermilk biscuit things are. I just can't find anything in the supermarket that resembles them. You'd have to order them from America, but honestly for tonight's a quest that ain't gonna happen. We're putting the cheese and the sauce on. Smooth bolognese sauce, just a simple um, tomato sauce, whatever else has gone in, and some pepperoni slices and some mozzarella. I don't have too much mozzarella there. I did buy some garlic sticks of bread baguettes just in case this goes. So we're safe. Right, Ben is now going to slice the scones. Very nice. Mmm. You're going to slice it. Slice this one. That one, that one's crumbled. Just leave it there because it's just in bits. So just there, look. It'll, it'll gel back together with the sauce. It's either going to be Treader Park Pizza, the title, or Treader Park Pizza Fail. One of those. <laughs> Shove up an eye. Does anybody remember the advert years ago, probably in the 80s or 90s, that said Shove up an eye? Was it Shove up an eye or Shove up an eye? Shove up, Nige. Shove up, Nige. They were sat on a settee, these guys, and he came in and bounced next to me. Shove up, Nige. Or shove over, Nige. No one else can remember it, and we can't. We've Googled it, and we can't even find what it is. If anyone knows what the advert was, please let us know. Fill the gaps. Well, I'm doing 
Go Gordon. 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 James, okay. it'd be greatly appreciated for the next 20 minutes. Gordon. <laughs> All right, so. Teaser's outside. He's coming in. Oh, bless him. He wants to go outside with his blanket. He's coming in. <laughs> Is he bringing his blanket? He wants me to come out with him. All right, you go. <laughs> no, you've got sticky Dorito fingers on my onesie. No. Right, so excuse us, we're eating Doritos. I'm going to put the sauce down. Now, cheese. Mozzarella. First, you need to just taste test it to see if it's good. He has to lift his head so high. The good. It is. Yeah. I kind of just pour, pour the bag on that then. Oh, okay. But then you're going to put some on the top eye. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do the bag up. Really say that, right? but, okay. So we're gonna put some cheese on, then pepperoni, then some more cheese on top of pepperoni. Next up, pepperonis. Just put these slices over. He also did bacon, but they don't want bacon. I don't mind bacon. Well, I think just keep it simple would be nice. Actually, I'll just put a slice on. I'll just try a piece of this. Time. Now, double layer time. Just finish this bag. Yeah, I'll be enough. I think so. Moment of truth. Let's Here we go. In. Please say it turned out good. It looks good. Oh my god. It's really hot, Ben. <laughs> I hope it doesn't fall apart when we try and eat it. Please say it turned out good. Please. And then I'll turn it off for now. We've got to put the oven back on. We'll do this. Oh, watch that turn hot. That looks good. Yep, so putting oh, down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you don't remember I feel the pepperoni. I need a big place. So I was going to put this in a bowl. Ben says some plate, but I've either got massive plates or. Looks good. We have to eat it with forks, by the way. This isn't a regular pizza, by the yeah. way. <laughs> we did it! Really good, then, isn't it? Ooh. All right, they want me to taste it first, so. It was your idea, so you I can see your right. reaction before we try it. I can't even use a fork. So if you want to try it, just a little bit off there. Ooh. Boil. Mm -hmm. A bit dry. No, yeah, it's good though. Mm. It's unusual. What is that? It's weird. Yeah, it's nice. nice to cut it. I like that. I haven't got too much base, I've just got the pepperoni. Mm. That's perfect. Mm. I a feel bit. like it would be like quiche, wouldn't it? A bit. But it's pizza. Okay. It smells very sweet. No, the whole the whole house was sweet smelling, but it is sweet. again, gonna go in. I like it. Too much. I like that sweet stuff. It's nice. I like that. That's good. He's growling at me. If you want the cheap. Italian way. Well, I don't know if this is Italian, but look. <gasps> so that's what Italians do. <laughs> right, Dad's just had a little sip of this. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? I thought it was very cotton candy type thing. It's very sweet. It's very um, marshmallowy, isn't it? I know it is. Mm. Mm. That is cotton candy, probably. Nice I think it's cotton candy. Things. I think it's cotton candy. What does it taste like? Pure sugar? No. It's what candy pops is. <laughs> well, like it's cream, it cream like soda. Cream soda. Yeah. Cream soda. That's what it tastes oh, yeah. like. Cream soda bad. Fanta. Mm. Cream Santa. No, that's not. Cream Santa. Cream Santa. <laughs> <laughs> that's cream. something completely different, Ben. <laughs> and we'll just leave that there. Cream Fanta. So we've had our trailer park pizza it was quite rich because of all that buttermilk scone i feel like with the dough and butter i actually really loved yeah. it me and dad liked it a lot i did oh, i loved it i feel like with dough it would have been better me and holly decided it's like something you get at disneyland <laughs> you know when you walk through and it's just like everything has just got that to make Mickey you feel Mouse's sick after like three mouthfuls. Pizza from Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse's vegetable garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was very hard to make because we couldn't get the canned biscuits and stuff. We couldn't get the original yeah. stuff to make it. Might it might not have been as sweet, might they? Yeah. No, yeah. if it was just dough, it would have been easier. 
I said let's use do a bowl for you instead of using a bunch of other Or if we just had pizza, probably be actually cheaper just to buy like... Well, the price. See, Angry Grandpa's piece is supposed to be under £10 and it was. So, the cheese is probably about £1.50. We bought two cheeses, we actually only used one of the packets of ready grated cheese. The scones were £1.80 and we used two packs of them, so that's £3.60. The pepperoni, I think, is about two pound. I think it's less than that. Is it one pound seventy something? I've yeah. rounded it up to two, and the sauce a pound. So I've put eight pound ten, but I think I've rounded it. So I'd say about eight quid actually. Yay! Eight so pound. He only fed. Actually, how many oh, they'll kids have did some you garlic eat? bread. I'm full of cheap stuff because Angry Grandpa used cheap budget things. Yeah. But you know what? The garlic bread was absolutely lovely. From Sainsbury's, that cheap. Street, whatever it's called, what's that brand they're using at the moment? Oh, it's quite a basic oh, brand, but it was like 72p for two baguettes of garlic bread. It was really, it was quite soft. Like some baguettes can be hard, can't they? And they really hurt you out know, eating it. Oh, I had just a bit of my tongue. Also, Don't talk it. And that wasn't on the garlic bread, that was just talking. He put uh, bacon as well into his Fred Park pizza. Well, so it could have been. I took the <laughs> toppings off and put it on the garlic bread. Yeah. Now that was nice. I kind of did that a bit. But no, it was fun. It was nice made, to try something. Like, if we made something that we could actually get the resources from here. Yeah, Ben's on an angry grandpa mission to you are, aren't you? watch this space. <laughs> Brownies with bacon in it. Oh my god. That is horrible. He loves bacon. He loves, honestly, everything he, he has. He put bacon in it. Americans do mix their sweet and savoury, don't they? Yeah. A lot. They don't really care. It's funny if you put bacon in it. What, what, give us an example. Like, well, when you, obviously when you go and eat for like breakfast, everything's there, isn't it? You yeah, scrambled everything. eggs, pancakes, yeah. and then waffles, and then... French more, toast. Yeah, French toast. Yeah, then want, more beans and bacon, and then maple syrup all, all over the top. All in, in and amongst each other, don't That's they? what he's actually reading. That was our what experience. What he's calling the breakfast lasagna. Thank you for watching it. Yeah, it was, was alright. It was not a fail. It wasn't. A no, fail. I liked it. Yeah. I think it would have been better with. I think it would have been better with dough. Yeah. The more angry grandpa recipes. Yeah. Keep watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.